Hey guys, we're here back again. This time we are playing some Ignis in the mid lane today. Gonna grab our spell tome for that ability power, our first ability, and head on over to mid lane. Not sure where Telonis is going. Uh, I'm at mid. There we go. All right, so Tell Honest is uh, an idiot. <laughs> so it seems. Grack really wants me, man. He wants the booty. Watching out for these pulls. All right, Tell Honest looks like she is still mid. All right. Unfortunate as it is. Oh, no, it looks like she's going to top. All right, sweet. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We need to go ahead and uh, grab our Orb of Magi here. Zuka's ready for a gank. Kind of a, ooh, nice. Uh, kind of trading off. Uh, no one's really winning or losing right now. Because <laughs> we can just gain all our health back, too. Okay, yeah, I'm actually going to lose this if I'm not careful. Damn. He, he burned Flicker as well, though. Actually, I can stay. I have uh, What do you call it? Oof. That grab, if it had actually landed, that would have been really bad. Grack's looking. He's looking for the pole. No, uh, no mana. Set on back. Back to lane here. Grax going to top. Looks like he's going to help with that. Which is good. So this ignits level 5. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Ignis is pretty fun though. Like I feel like he's a uh, somewhat underrated mage though. I, I I feel like he's he's really good. It's just people don't give him the you know the the chance. You know what I mean? Very nice. Missed my abilities, but uh, 
everybody else kind of landed theirs, so it's all good. Nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, we we gotta get some mana, dude. Greg looks like he saw what I saw. Um, Rhea's blessing. Definitely want that. Very nice. I flickered for that one. We are racking <laughs> the combos, dude. All right, we're going to get some pretty good uh, life still here now. Damn it. I was hoping to connect something with that. There we go. Let's freaking go, man. That's gonna, they're gonna get it.
Um, hold on. I'm building into the wrong stuff here. I don't know why I'm building into that junk. Okay. Yep, we can go this for sure. Very nice, dude. This is done deal. I'll take the damage. I don't care. I'm yellow like that. Seven and zero right now. Jesus. Talana still uh, get the mid lane there. Oof. I'm definitely taking some damage though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. GG. Man. So uh, that's pretty good too. All right. Ignis is my man, dude. That guy is freaking strong if you can get you know, that snowball effect there. Man, oh man. Uh, there we go. So, definitely uh, not doing too bad. 17.3%, uh, or not percent, but points towards MVP. Man, that was a lot. Uh, Zuka did really good too. He was 11 and 1. Uh, as far as damage to heroes, he was, he was up there. Total damage is up there too. I don't know why he didn't get more points. Uh, he contributed just as much as I did. Yeah, relatively, like, even if you combine his total score, that's, uh, that's 18, and I'm only at 22, uh, as far as total contributions and numbers, so that's kind of weird that he doesn't have a higher point in the, uh, MVP, I guess maybe because I was there for a lot of the fights, regardless of me getting kills, I was there for 13 of the fights there, uh, outside of my own kills, uh, but there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode playing Ignis. Definitely went ahead and went with the uh, Orb of Magi over... I was going to look at getting potentially the, the amulets, uh, the Virtue's amulet, but I don't know. I, I didn't think that it was going to be worth it, so I went ahead and went Orb of Magi instead. I just kind of had to play conservative in some lesser degree with my, my mana consumption there. Uh, build was kind of whack. I was not paying attention. I was so involved in the killing. That I wasn't paying attention to what my pre-made build was making me build into. <laughs> but I would have gone like, you know, Orb of Magi, Rhea's Blessing, uh, Holy of Holies. Because having Enlightenment is really, really nice to survive as well. Um, and then you have the Hikari's Deidum. Uh, obviously, you would have your boots as well. Uh, probably going into either Sonic Boots or Gilded Greaves. You could go into your cooldown boots, but I would definitely say get some armor. Uh, and then, you know, if you're having problems against, like, the Necroth for whatever reason, or just 80 damage from Tel Anas, you would, you would end up getting, like, an Aegis. Uh, give me some nice cooldown as well as some nice armor. Uh, and then combined with the Enlightenment, you would have some pretty good damage mitigation for the, uh, the attack damage there. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, this gameplay. Once again, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.